hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so in this question we have been given this mosfet based circuit and here we have been given that these two mosfets m1 and m2 are biased in the saturation so here we have been asked to find the exact magnitude of the small signal voltage gain for the given circuit so let us find that so in the question we have been given this circuit and we have been given that the small signal transconductance for the MOSFET M1 and M2 are GM1 and the GM2 respectively. Moreover in the question, here we have been also asked to neglect the effect of the channel and modulation as well as the body effect for the MOSFETs M1 and M2. So now, to find the small signal voltage gain, let us replace each MOSFET by their small signal model. So for the AC analysis, all the DC sources in the circuit will act as a zero. That means here, this DC voltage source is VDD will act as a zero volt, while this DC current source will act as a open circuit. Moreover, here this capacitor C1 will also act as a short circuit. So now, here we need to replace the MOSFET M1 and M2 by their small signal model. So here, for this MOSFET M2 if you see, then this input voltage source and this resistor RS is connected at the gate terminal while the source terminal of the MOSFET M2 is connected to the ground potential. Similarly on the input side, this drain resistor RD will get connected between the drain terminal and the ground terminal. Or we can say that it is connected between the drain and the source terminal. And the output is also measured at the drain terminal. So now, if we move to the M1 transistor, then here, this resistor RB is connected between the gate terminal of the MOSFET M2 and the gate terminal of the MOSFET M1. And moreover, for this MOSFET M1, the drain and the gate terminals are connected together. That means this MOSFET M1 is nothing but the diode connected transistor. That means here, the gate and the drain terminals are shorted together. And here, since the DC current source will act as an open circuit, so this drain terminal is kept open. That means for the given circuit, if we see the small signal equivalent circuit, then this is how it will look like. So now, to find the voltage gain for the given circuit, first let us simplify this circuit and let us find the equivalent resistance which is seen through this resistor RB. And if we see this resistance, then that is nothing but the input impedance of this diode connected transistor. So like I said, here this MOSFET M1 is connected in the diode connected transistor configuration. And if you are aware, then for the diode connected transistor, its input impedance can be given as 1 divided by Gm. So if you are not aware, then here let me also prove that and let me show you, indeed it is equal to 1 divided by Gm. So here, to find the input impedance of this diode connected transistor, first let us draw the small signal model of this part. And if you see that, then this is how it will look like. So here, to find the input impedance, what we will do? We will apply the test voltage Vx and we will find this test current Ix. And the ratio of this Vx and the Ix will give us the input impedance. So here if you see, then this Vx is nothing but the VGS. Because this voltage is applied between the gate and the source terminal. So we can say that this Vx is equal to VGS1. And here if you see, then this current Ix is nothing but the ID1. So we can say that this current Ix is equal to Gm1 times VGS1. So here, both on the numerator and the denominator, this VGS1 will get cancelled out. And this input impedance is nothing but the 1 divided by Gm1. That means the input impedance which is seen through this resistor RB is equal to 1 divided by Gm1. Or in the small signal model if we see, then the input impedance which is seen through this resistor RB is equal to 1 divided by Gm1. And now, if we see the equivalent circuit, then this is how it will look like. That means now if you see, then this resistor RB and this resistor 1 divided by Gm1 are connected between the gate and the source terminal of the MOSFET M2. So equivalently, this is how it can be represented. And now, from this simplified small signal equivalent circuit, 
it is easy to find the voltage gain so let us see that so here this output voltage v out is equal to minus id2 times rd where this id2 is equal to minus gm2 times vgs2 and here if you see then this vgs2 is the voltage across the resistor rb and the 1 divided by gm1 so using the voltage divider rule we can easily find this voltage vgs2 so we can say that this voltage vgs2 is equal to rb plus 1 divided by gm1 divided by this rs plus rb plus 1 divided by gm1 and of course it will also get multiplied by the voltage v in so basically using the voltage divider rule we can easily find the voltage vgs2 so from this we can say that this V out is equal to minus Gm times Rd times this Rb plus 1 over Gm1 divided by this Rb plus Rs plus 1 divided by Gm1 times input voltage. So here I am writing over here. So from this we can say that the magnitude of the voltage gain or the V out divided by V in is equal to Gm times Rd times this Rb plus 1 divided by Gm1 divided by this Rb plus Rs plus 1 divided by Gm1. So that is the expression of the voltage gain for the given circuit. And from this we can say that for the given question, this is the correct answer.